Hey, what's up, my Virgos? Um, when I was getting into your energy, ironically enough, I heard champagne and crystals. I'm like, huh, that sounds like a celebration. But some about champagne and crystals. So you can have some type of special occasion coming up, Virgo. You can be doing sh champagne and caviar dreams or something. Maybe your money's coming up or something like that, Virgo. Maybe you, your bag is getting larger. But definitely something to celebrate, Virgo. Something regarding your spirituality or your... Hmm. Who is this that want to come in from this dry-ass place, Virgo? You see, this this lady, I feel like this is you in this energy, male or female. But she kind of got her guards down. She don't see him coming or whatnot. But he's coming very guarded in this energy. Like, she's about ready to take off. Wherever you're going, Berg, I see you're getting ready to take off. But wherever they've been, it wasn't no love there at all. A dry, empty place. You know, fool's gold. You know, and how many people have to... Uh, go through these experiences and realize about fools go then they want to come back after the relationship is broken torn like it was good when you was here now here you come want to come back right but either way let's go ahead and get started and there's that lady again you're not playing Virg. and there's that damn peacock that's been chasing me around oh my goodness somebody tell me what does the peacock mean but either way truth Virg. You got uh, gratitude. You got, what is that? Empowerment? No, nope. manifest. Okay. Ooh, Virg, no wonder I'm hearing caviar and crystals. Oh, I say champagne and crystals, but caviar. Virg, whatever's going on, I see you not playing no games. At the foundation about this, I feel like... I'm sorry, the foundation of this, I feel like you got major things that you are working on, major things that's manifesting into your life. Look at this energy right here. You got magic and manifest. And look at that horse. That horse is very symbolic of going somewhere, taking off, doing something, Berg. And it's a white horse. This is a unicorn. I don't know if I believe in all that, y'all. Take it how it applies. Mm. But I see Beloved is definitely guiding you somewhere. This is why you feel this urgency to either move or do whatever you're doing. Because Beloved is gu guiding you. And you finally got your joy back, your happiness back. That's been gone for so long. And you finally are feeling better. I don't think you're going for any BS from the past. Okay, let's see. Let's try to get some love energy above this foundation. See what's going on with you and this person. Because from what I can see, Virg, it's like, I don't know. Looks like you're done with that. Like, you've seen all you need to see. Maybe you've taken the blindfold off. You really are able to see this person for who they are. You know? But let's see. You got the three of stave. The king of coins. And the king of cups. And at the bottom of the deck, I would usually don't read the bottom of the deck when I'm doing this, but you got the five of pentacles. This cold is more than cold, Virgo. Why? It's like you giving off this cold. I'm hearing boss, bitch. Bossed up. Vibe. Male or female. Take out applies. Because somebody. Somebody is sad about this, Virg. Whoever this King of Cups energy is, is super sad. Looking at that cup. Looking at what they had. What could have been. Okay. It's like that's all they focus on is what's in that cup, the love. The love that either you share, the love you gave them, the love you give. Somebody's person name could be Mark.
But damn, you look happy, Ferg. I take it this to you and this King of uh, Pentacles energy. You look happy. Or the energies could be totally vice versa. You could be the King of Cups. Or your person could be the King of um, Coins. But one thing I pick up, somebody. Let's just say your person was with somebody. They don't want to be there. Maybe this was even you, Virg, trying to get your person's attention and they didn't want to be there. And so you had to do what you had to do and pull this Queen of Swords energy, bitch mode up, boss mode up, and do what you had to do. But I'm feeling like this is your person and this is somebody else that they're leaving behind. They're not interested. They keep looking at just that cup of love, Virg. Let's see. What's on the surface of this relationship? What's going on with, with Virg and their person? Oh, my goodness. I don't, I'm hearing that Neo song. I only want you to love. I don't want nobody else. So take it out of resonates, Virg. What's going on with Virg? What does Virg need to know, please? Envy. Oh, wow. Now, it always concerns me when envy comes up in a love reading, right? Because it's supposed to be all this, this love, this, this joy, this happiness, or whatever the case may be, right? But for envy to be showing up, this is an energy of, I don't want to see you happy without me. You know, you know those those type of people where they're cool. They're cool. As long as you're miserable without them, as long as you chase them, as long as you call them, as long as it's about them. Right? The minute you start really loving yourself, putting that time, energy, and effort to your, into yourself, then this person like is wondering, you know, why is in Virgo chasing me? Why is in Virgo calling? Why is in Virgo doing that? And then finding out that Virgo been on top of they shit. And not only that, Virgo been on top of they shit without you. And they looking happy. And they looking abundant. And they looking good. And feeling great. Yeah, that'll make anyone sad that feeds off your energy. And that's what I'm feeling like, Virg. I'm feeling like this is someone who feeds off of your energy. As long as you're happy, unhappy, they're happy. As long as you're down, they're up. As long, it's, it's, like, it's like for you and this person, the energies always have to be opposites. And that's the balance in the situation. And that's crazy. So when you up, they down. When when you happy, they sad. When you getting money, they broke. Or things that, it's, it's just weird. It's supposed to be love. But with that envy card there, Lord. But let's see, what's crowning this reading for Virgo, please? What's crowning? This reading for my birds. unity and you know what's crazy is you know as male uh, masculine and feminine energies however it goes there is to, supposed to be this the sense of of oneness right like you excuse me complimentary complimenting the other it's supposed to be that type of balance um i feel like in this connection for whatever reason that balance is totally off and it's due to mindsets whoever mindset this is that you know uh, it's almost like a m immature energy someone who's immature and they mind and you know like i don't know if it feeds their ego i don't know if um if this is how this person has been for years, but something definitely needs to change within someone because they are feeding off of other people's energy. And I don't think it's only you, Virg. I think collectively, this is how this person gets ahead. This person may get off making other people feel better, may do other people wrong. They, I mean, everybody got good in them, don't get me wrong. I'm not just saying this is a terrible person, but I'm just saying this is a person that feeds off of energies. 
And so if they can find energies to feed off of, that is what they do. Like, that's who they are. But, um, let's see. Let's pull out some tarot. Which one do I want to do for Virg? Let's do these for you, Virg. And we'll do these for your person. So let's start with your person over here, Virg. Beloved, what does Virgo need to know, please? I'm hearing the need to feed. Instead of the need for speed, the need to feed. And it's sad. Because this person is, is sad without you, Virg. But why, why would this person be sad, beloved? If they're only feeding off Virg and not giving Virgo what they want. Here's the moon card. They said they feel lost and lonely. Can't get to you worth nothing. You are them twin peaks. <laughs> Interesting. But what's going on with Virgo's person? Too many cards to read them. What's going on with Virgo's person, please? What does Virgo need to know? See what I mean, Virg? The Ten of Wands. The Nine of Wands. The Queen of Pentacles. The King of Wands. The Queen of Wands. Oh, snap. Huh. Well, I guess that's what happened in death. That's crazy. Uh, I'm not gonna even, I'll, I'll be back to yours, Virg. Let's see, I mean, I'll be back to your person. What's going on with uh, Virgo's person? At the bottom of the deck, they got the Ace of Swords. So some type of truth is gonna come out or be revealed, finally is what I'm hearing. Finally, you will know the truth and the truth shall set you free. What's going on with Virgo? How's Virgo feeling about their person? We see what they person got going on. Mm. 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 <laughs> you know what I get, Virg? It's like, and this is interesting that I get this with the, these three energies. Because you would think, okay, it's a third party situation. You automatically think that, right? No. What I get is, one moment, you over here, you're in your energy, right? You're this queen of pentacles energy. You about your, your status, your business, whatever. They turn around, and you over here in this queen of wands energy. I'm totally bossed up, looking good, feeling better. Like, all those things that I was saying in your manifestation mode. And they ain't nowhere to be found. They ain't nowhere, like, with you. Hating it. Just having to watch you from a distance but it's like they did it to themselves, and I don't understand why it's such a hard pill to bear a hard pill to swallow let's see you got the knight of cups the nine of swords oh wow the star The Nine of Coins, the Ten of Wands, the Seven of Coins, and the Seven of Wands. That there go that Queen of Swords shit right there. You're blocking it, Bert. And there's that white horse I was talking about. This white horse is very symbolic. Pay attention. You might. What's on a white a white horse? A Porsche. Got a horse. I don't know if it's white. Um. This white horse. I wish I knew the symbolic meaning of the white horse. I would. I would take the time out to read it right now, but I might lose my train of thought within the reading. But this white horse that keep coming through is very symbolic of either you drive a white car, they drive a white car, a gray car, something like that, something very symbolic. 
you know what's interesting about this card bird so you see her she got she got fire right she got passion here's these six ones they need a light right they need something from her and she's sitting there like trying to defend herself from whoever these people are all these people that need her need her need her right the one person that's supposed to have her back got his back turned at this moment when she needs him the most he's not even paying attention to what's going on He's paying attention to what's going on here. Whatever you've been doing, Bert, that's focusing on you, yourself, your business, your work, your job, something like that. That's what they're paying attention to. The change in you. But look who came and lit your fire, though, Bert. God reached down from the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing so big enough you didn't have room enough to contain it and this person had to watch from a distance don't think they don't know that you're not blessed and highly favored because you know what's crazy Virg is this person is too right because their fire's lit so who knows if God came down and lit their fire too so not to say your person not blessed and highly favored but where was their fire lit in this moment did it go out? Are they now in the dark? Did they lose, you know, the blessing because of what happened between you two? Because what I feel like is this is their, this is what they want to be on. They thought this was their ten of pentacles, their happiness. I can have whoever I want. I'm this, I'm that, I'm this, I'm that. You know, you lucky to be with me. You lucky to have me. You, you know, I can have anybody I want to. Ah, all that type of stuff. What? But there was a wake up call. I'm not sure if this was you, Virg, or if it, this was them that was getting this wake up call. You see those boats that's not supposed to be their their light. Go both think from the past that's coming up. This is somebody doing their work, their manifestation work. I feel like it's you, Virg. Someone whose intuition is on point. With that moon shining that bright. Someone being led and guided completely and utterly into their destiny. Because wherever they go, that fire stay lit. Now what's interesting about that fire, right? They try to take it from you. I'm not even sure. This is what I'm wondering, Bird. If they seen it from the beginning, or if it's something that they figured out later on. Because I feel like you were pregnant with that fire. Whatever that gift, that talent, whatever it was, you it was like it didn't come into fruition yet. Early on in y'all relationship, it didn't come into to fruition. It came into fruition later on. Cause see, even in the even in the um barrel she's carrying, look at what's coming out of that. And his pole is not lit. He doesn't have that fire. What she's holding is going to the heaven. So this could be in your prayers, your dreams, your manifestations, all reaching um, reaching up to heaven, reaching to the ears of God, metaphorically, um, if God got ears. <laughs> but it just seems like to me, Virg, one minute you was this and when they turned around you was that the queen of wands who had this fire you know you got the pinnacle that's what you were pregnant with the gifts the talents but when they turned around you had that fire a lot of things had came to life for you first you know 
But let's see, what else does Virgo need to know? What else does Virgo need to know? I feel like they were not expecting this from you, Virg. At all. What else does Virgo need to know? I think, to be honest with you, Virg, if this make you feel it um, better, I think the best thing they could have did to you was whatever they did to you. Because it made you give birth to what was in you. I'm just saying, Virg. Because it looked like she was alone somewhere with God. And he was coming back and seen to it. Like, oh, wow, the hand of God don't reach down. And, oh, my goodness. Don't think people don't know. People ain't going to tell you. If you don't know your worth and value, they're not going to tell you. Let me get four cards, please, for Virgo and this person. Four cards, please. I'm going to use my Divine Masculine Real Talk oracles and see what's up. Ooh. Ooh. So interesting. They thinking about it. I'm just saying they thinking about it. Male or female. You know, no, males ain't got the male got the other equipment, but they thinking about it. Trying to deal. They staying high, staying drunk, doing whatever it takes to not think about what they're losing. Oh, they don't tap into tarot readings too, Virg. So if you think you're the only one watching tarot, huh? Guess again, but like I said, people do things behind closed doors. You'll never know. And they're also listening to music. You know, ironically, this person got a heart on their chest. But you see how he got his arms folded? Like he trying to guard his heart? Yeah, yeah, that energy. Don't think this person don't love you. They just trying to guard their heart or do whatever it is that they trying to do. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get an angel message. Close this reading out. Vir What's the message for Virgo, please? What's the message for Virgo, please? <laughs> okay, come through, beloved. Thank you, God. Relationship. Your primary relationship is with yourself and God. And every other relationship follows from there. To attract, heal, or balance a relationship, then suckle more closely with your loving creator. As you feel safe and love within, so shall your other relationships bloom and prosper. And every time you get along with God, because that's your primary relationship, that's your husband, that's your wife, whatever, that primary relationship feeds everything else. As long as you keep that relationship with God, that fire, that moon, all of that will stay lit. You got to keep that fire with God, period, point blank. Okay, Bert. So I thank you guys so much for watching Black Madonna HP's Table Etiquette with Black Madonna HP. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Definitely like the vi video. Leave me some comments down below. Did this person blink and you changed? Did they blink and you came up and they, you know, they got a new look, a different look at you, looking at you from a different point of view? Let me know, Bird. Either way, love, peace, and soul.